In today's video, I am going to show you how to paint these fall doodles. You can use these doodles to make your own cards, maybe for Thanksgiving or just for fancy. So we're going to do some pumpkins, some acorns, mushroom, fall kind of maple leaves. And I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. So of course we're going to go first through the materials really quickly, arches, watercolor paper, clean water, mostly orange, yellow and indigo and some soft brushes. Of course if you guys have been following me for a while you know that mostly I put all my watercolors in products and you can check them out in my store. So I have this tote bag that I painted some pumpkins in and I think it's really cute. Okay, so now we are just starting with a Raphael brush. It's a soft brush um, that is natural hairs, but you can use any round brush. So we're just grabbing the cadmium red orange and we're drawing a noble shape. And then we're just going to do like um, half ovals around it. Basically, it's super simple, straightforward and easy. So let's just paint this little pumpkin. And then we are going to add a little bit of yellow for contrast and a little bit of indigo to give it a little bit of texture. So this is the pumpkin. Alright, so moving on to the next doodle, we are going to do a little bit of a maple leaf. It's kind of like an illustrative approach to a maple leaf. Um, and we're going to use brown, cadmium yellow, and cadmium orange. Alright, so moving on to the acorn, I am using the same brown that I used for the previous leaf. And remember that brown is a mixture of orange, blue, and a little bit of yellow. So I am making the top part of the acorn and then I am using just a light shade of yellow in order to make the little body of the acorn. And I'm going to go ahead and shape my my main form and then I'm gonna add little details but I will have to wait um, for it to dry to add like the top little detail or a little bit of texture to it so this one is going to be a little bit of a two-step kind of process um, we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna move on to another doodle
dry so while the acorn dries and now um, I am waiting for it for the yellow to dry in order to do the top of the acorn we're going to move on to a little cherry kind of branch um, with the brown that we keep using the same brown and with a little bit of cadmium red orange All right, so moving on to our next cute little doodle, we are going to do the mushroom. And if you guys have seen my previous tutorials in the last month, I already did a mushroom in oil pastel. So I already have the shape kind of down and I think it's a really, really cute fall little doodle. So I am grabbing a red, cadmium red, and then I am mixing a little bit of a very light yellow for the body. So I'm just doing the outline with the yellow, cadmium yellow, and adding a ton of water to really make it um, a light, light yellow. So I really, really enjoy how the red bleeds into the body and that is why I'm like deeply obsessed with watercolors because of the way they bleed very unintentionally but it's just very a very nice texture all right so while that dries i can go ahead and make the little top of my little acorn and add a few details so again i am using the same brown and i am aiming for that really nice bleed on the body of the acorn it sort of gives it a little bit of a shadow and i'm adding a little bit of red just to add a little bit of contrast to my brown to make it a little bit more fall Alright, so now that I know for a fact that my acorn, my first acorn is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and add the details to make it really look like an acorn. So I am using a deep brown, so I added a little bit more indigo to my brown mixture. So now I am doing details, outlines, and I want to make sure that this looks like a, like a three-dimensional object in a way. I want to add texture. So I'm just like adding little texture with the same, I want to keep the same colors that I've been using. All right, so now we move on to a different kind of pumpkin. This one is more like a squash, I guess. And I am using my cadmium yellow and I clean my brush. And now I am picking up the excess yellow. I want this to be a little bit more light. So I am just picking up some of the color. Then I am going to use a little bit of green to add texture to the pumpkin and that is a the wet on wet technique that we typically use with watercolor and we're gonna like let it dry and then we will add more details so while the pumpkin squash dries we are going to add details to the mushroom that is already dry so this is kind of the game that i play when i do my layouts where like one thing dries and then another one i can move on to details on another one and then that little game back and forth
All right, so now after we finish uh, the details with the acorns, we're going to move on to our next doodle, which is kind of like the cherry one, but a little bit more populated. And we're going to use the cadmium yellow. So I am first using a brown to do the branches. And then I will, with the same brush, I clean it up. And then I'm just going to add the little cherries. And it's kind of like one of those fall trees that have little fruits. So that will look super cute. Alright, so now we are moving on to another maple leaf. This one is going to be orange and again I am just going with the approach of a very illustrative kind of approach to our maple leaf. It's not real by any stretch of the imagination like anything in this tutorial. So we're just going to use our cadmium red orange and we're going to fill in our leaf. So basically what I do is I just block out like the first doodle of a leaf. So it was like the second doodle. I block out the shape and then I fill it in with either the same color or a different color to give a contrast and texture. But I first block out the shape of the leaf. And this one is coming out super cute. And now I am going to do the exact same thing but primarily for a yellow one and just to give our doodles a little bit of contrast, a little bit of playfulness. We're not going to paint all of our doodles in the same color. So this one is just um, the yellow and I will be adding a little bit of texture with the orange and that'll be super cute. All right, so now that our pumpkin is squash again, sorry, squash is more dry, it's probably 90% dry. I'm going to go in with a very dark green. So I added a lot of indigo to my previously green mixture and I am just really kind of doodling some lines to give the squash the texture that it typically has. And then I'm going to like dab a little bit with the tip of the brush to give it more like a dotted kind of like texture. Now to finish up the last details of my beautiful and cute fall layout, I'm going to do just little doodles, like extra doodles in the page to like fill in the empty spaces. So I'm just going to doodle along, add some details, fill in those voids, and um, that will be that. 